Hey everybody, welcome back. Making your own 3D files for 3D printing can be so nerve-wracking, especially if you're self-taught like we are here at Crafted Catastrophes. There are so many choices of tutorials on the internet and YouTube that can also be confusing and just misleading. We've even run into the situation where certain tutorials that used free software during the making of that particular video are no longer free. So, which do you use? Who do you trust? Is the information outdated? Well, we might have the answer that you're looking for. We thought we would bring you along with us on our progress to learning to make our own STL print files via SVGs that we created from simple clip art just to get you started for absolutely free. That is, as of December 2nd, 2024. <laughs> now to our computer genius, Clay, where he's going to start with a free but very capable software called Inkscape. All right, so then we go up and file, and we're gonna open. We'll do the black one and the white one first. All of these we just set, we just always say, okay, whatever they are, that's what we're going with. And then we want to, we want to right click, and we want to go to trace bitmap, and we're over here on trace bitmap, and it's single scan. Brightness is cut off is fine. I'm just going to run it this way because I don't know if uh, the uh, single scan, I don't know if it removes the background. It doesn't have it on there at all. So we're just going to go with this because I know I want to remove the background. I know that you want as, many, as few of these scans as possible uh, and apply. Now, that's it. it that's all you got to do. It did it. It made it. You can see it. It's always the newest one is always on top of the old one. So the one that's traced is always right real tight if you click on this one you see how far wide it is that's how you can tell which one's which once you've done that you can delete the old one keep the new one and you can save export little box to say where we're going to put it we got a black and white we're making it as an svg that's fine we're going to save it. Now you've got an SVG, black and white SVG from a JPEG, and that's it. Then let's do another one. So let's go open. Let's do a color. And this is another Inkscape, right? I'll we'll just get rid of this. Okay. So now we're in here again. We're going to right click. We're going to trace bitmap. We're going to go over to multicolor and pull this out a little bit. So this is on live updates here. So you can see the, the, the different colors whenever you get them in. So we go, we've removed background always. We're going to steps. Let's make colors. And then eight is probably about the minimum we want to do but you can just see it you can see that where it goes away red and everything comes back just go ahead and do eight and then apply boom it's done it's tight so this is it let's move it over here move this one back export here as a plain SVG. Color SVG. Save it. And now you got a color SVG. So let's just close this all the way down. And then we're going to open it back up with Inkscape. So if you got an SVG now, right? So if you just got an SVG from anywhere the web whatever right so eventually we'll be able to make like anything you want from any picture any you dumb it down enough to get enough you know least amount of colors in it you know if you have like an eight color ams yeah, you then can you can do all eight but um you know we have four color and we do have two ams is coming for our bamboo labs and uh, we're excited about getting them but we don't have them yet so we're only dealing with four colors as much as possible anyways so we got this now 
So we go here into the layers and objects. And if we do this drop down, we'll see all the paths that it just, the eight layers. So if you go and this is the little eye, the little eye will turn on and off being able to see that layer. So you can just click all of them and you can see them all go away. So then now we can look at each one. So we look at this, it's a great outline. You could save that good. as an outline if you wanted to and just have, have an outline. Beautiful. This is where we go into the nodes tool. And hit delete all. <laughs> That's not, but the problem is we need to we need these around here. Man, that is that's supposed to be the red, right? Let's go back to here. The green. Yeah. What is that one? Do we even need that one? Oh, it fills in for those. Oh, those two are one. Let's just try smooth one time. I don't even know if that did anything. I think that the damage is already done once we're here, though. Okay. Well, let's just try it again, then. So this looks pretty good, right? So we got it. We got it now. So we had to, when we opened it, we just chose smooth instead, and the smooth seemed to work. So I took all the black, right? So we go to the layers and objects I got. We're just going to export them. And so then we're going to say, this is the black one, right? Mm -hmm. We save that. I'm going to go back in here. So you exported all of those as one. As one. All, all right. right. So then we turn that one off. We turn that one off. We turn that one off. We just go green. And yeah, then we are. go to export. Turn off the green. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of everything else and just keep this down here. So we go to the nodes tool over here. We click on the nodes tool. Folder. Like a white color. So now we open Tinkercad. All right, so now we're in here. So now we need to import and we need to choose the file. Here, black. We have to do them all. You can only do them one at a time. Okay, all right, nice. And then, and then bring them all in. No, and then. And then black, brown. I mean, just that's awesome. <laughs> hey. Well, there's your brown. Down there. You can change the color here to whatever color you want. Preset here and make it brown. Ungroup you to have the colors. Oh, the whole thing. Export. Only the selected five shapes. <laughs> and then. Let's open that. And the rest is up to you to import into your particular printer with its own set of settings. We'll go into more Bamboo Lab stuff later on as we progress. Making 3D prints from sheer clip art is absolutely rewarding. And even if it's not the greatest, we're just going to get better at it for sure. So it's going to be trial and error. This is just a general free method that you can master just as we're trying to do. I hope you gained some more insight on some free particulars that may help you get rolling when starting your 3D printing adventure. You're going to fail. You'll have small victories that keep you intrigued and then experience setbacks, but keep in mind, it is in fact about the destination and not so much the adventure when it comes to 3D printing. 
we've been having so much fun, but we're also getting closer to where we want to be, and that's all you can ask for. So, if you enjoy hanging with us and want to follow our progress, it'd be greatly appreciated if you subscribed, and if not, please hit the like button on your way out. Thanks for watching, and until next time, we hope you had a great Thanksgiving, and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye.